Greetings, everyone. Well, it's closer look time again here on the Multimedia Chronicles. So, a few weeks back, we took a look at my Complete Series Blu-ray set of The Sopranos. So, I thought kind of as a soft tie-in to that, it might be nice to take a look at my set of this show, Crime Story, which was a crime drama series from 1986 produced by Michael Mann. Yes, the famous director and uh, creator of Miami Vice and uh, all kinds of great stuff like that. But the reason I thought it would be interesting to take a look at this one kind of as a, an aside to The Sopranos is because when The Sopranos came out, this was in repeats on some of the specialty channels and a lot of people compared it to The Sopranos as being kind of like a precursor to it in a lot of ways uh, because this also deals with organized crime. In this case, with uh, a special police unit designed to take down organized crime, and it's sort of the continuing saga of this one particular cop and his ongoing battle to take down this one particular, uh, you know, young street hood who's looking to be a made man and looking to be the next big crime boss of the city. So it's really good stuff. It's very dark. It's very gritty. It's actually a period piece. It's set in 1963. And so you got like the old style clothes and cars and music. It's just such a beautiful looking series. And much like Michael Mann's other shows, every episode looks like a mini movie. I mean, it's just such a good looking show. Uh, sadly canceled after two seasons, one season of 21 episodes and a second season of 22 episodes, and it just kind of ends rather abruptly. A lot of people were left scratching their heads like, well, wh why was it canceled? This was great. This was like one of the best crime dramas on television. Why is it canceled? I, I don't, I'm guessing low ratings, so as much as it was critically acclaimed, just didn't do enough for the network, I guess. So, Crime Story, the long-forgotten gem, but those who are in the know have nothing but good things to say about it. Today, on A Closer Look on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Well, I kind of crammed everything I wanted to say about the show into the pre-titles part. Oops! Sometimes that happens. I just get excited. Anyway, I did mention that there was a few other DVD releases of this, which is interesting because for such an obscure show, it sure has had a lot of video releases. I used to have this release here, which was basically just a single tape of the original pilot movie. Um, so I say 21 episodes for season one, 22 for season two. Uh, the, the pilot episode is counted as one, even though it's the length of two. So it's basically the length of 22 episodes here. So, cause it's like a double episode, you know what I mean? So it's basically the length of 44 hour long episodes. So two full seasons. Anyway, I had this tape here, which was from the long defunct New World Pictures and uh, watched it many times over. I thought it was just fantastic. The pilot movie in particular has a very cinematic feel to it. And it's just such a good looking show. Um, and much like, you know, again, to compare with The Sopranos, much like that, uh, the writing is just so good in this show. The dialogue is so sharp. It's like so quotable. In fact, when we take a look at the DVDs, you'll see that each of the DVDs in these sets has quotes from the show on the disc art, which is pretty cool. Um, so then after that, they actually did put out a complete series set. I wasn't able to find very many covers of it, but it was basically the entire series spread across... I don't know how many volumes, like 10, 12 volumes, I think. Uh, but they were lower quality VHS tapes, like low, uh, EP recordings or something like that, just to cram a bunch of episodes on there. But it, it, for a long time, it was the only way you could get the complete series on home video in any form whatsoever. And then fast forward to a few years later to the DVD era, we got this set here, which was the complete first season, done kind of like a, a crime you know, police report folder kind of thing. But for whatever reason, we never got season two until a few years later <laughs> when they re-released season one in this lovely shiny packaging and released season two along with it. So finally, we had the complete series 
in a decent quality set. And this is actually a really nice collection too. Like presentation wise, I really like how they did this. The covers are very high quality, shiny and, and classy looking. And, uh, and there's lots of nice disc art and everything as well. Um, and then just to be thorough, uh, not too long ago, the series did get a re-release in this complete series set from Image Entertainment, which is uh, basically to celebrate the 30th, or sorry, the 25th anniversary. And then that's had one more re-release, which is this one here, which is basically exactly the same, just without the 25th anniversary label on it. <sighs> you know... For a show that nobody's ever heard of, that sure is a lot of video releases. So, uh, it, it, have I been lied to by the internet? Is it possible this show's more well-known than I've been led to believe? I don't know. Um, but if you enjoy crime drama shows like The Sopranos, and I would even say stuff like The Untouchables, which has, of course, had various iterations over the years, this is very Untouchables-like. Um, it's kind of interesting because the original Untouchables series which uh, starred Robert Stack as Elliot Ness, ended in 1963. And then this series takes place in 1963 and kind of goes forward from there. So I wonder, wonder if that was an intentional connection there. I don't know. Anyway, really cool that not only is this an exceptional crime drama, but they did it as a period piece. This cannot have been a cheap show to produce in 1986. And I kind of suspect that that might have been one of the reasons it got cancelled. Um, it's expensive to do period pieces, plain and simple, especially on this scale. And to do it as essentially uh, an ongoing story with pretty heavy continuity to it, you know, you're relying on people tuning in week after week. Nowadays, it's not that uncommon to do serialized storylines, um, especially with streaming and so forth, where it's a lot easier to get caught up if you miss an episode or something. Back then, in the days of network television, yeah, if you missed an episode, you just missed it. You'd have to wait like six months for them to repeat it again and get that missing piece of the story, and hopefully you won't miss it the second time around. Anyway, I digress. Let's head on down to the black table, shall we? And we'll take a look at this wonderful set of the underrated but critically acclaimed gem, Crime Story. Okay, so here we have Crime Story Season 1. And as you can probably see, it's very shiny. It's kind of like almost a... It's hard to pick up on camera, but it's almost like a metallic ink. You can see a little bit of the, the sheen there, but it's a very, very nice, cl classy set. Uh, the series was released on DVD prior to this. This was actually a re-release, but uh, I thought this that looked way nicer than the uh, previous one. I also bought this version because, well, it was the version that was currently available at the time and I had missed out on the previous release. So, how does this open up? Well, it's kind of like a book. Like that. So you have the uh, disc contents listed there. And you have this nice and other disc contents listed there. You actually do get a booklet with it as well, which is quite nice. And a little coupon just advertising both of them. Save $10 with a mail-in rebate. Well, hey, I obviously didn't take advantage of that. Oops. Oh, well. Probably because I wanted to keep the original insert. Hey, collector's item. I'll just... So I guess the, keeping this insert literally cost me ten dollars. Oh well, I don't know if this was uh, even uh, so. It's September twenty two thousand five, March twenty two thousand six. So buy it between those two dates, and you could get ten bucks back. Very nice. So just take a look here. Each disc has a quote from the episodes on that disc. It's quite nice. I always like this line. When this is over, I'm gonna find what you love the most. And I'm going to kill it. Yeah. That's one of the good guys saying that, by the way. That's not a bad guy line. That's uh, Dennis Farina's character saying that to the mob boss that he's chasing throughout most of the series. So we got this. And we got... Uh... So this first disc is just the pilot movie. And then, uh, and then we have the start of the regular episodes afterwards. So it says that this season is 21 episodes. It's actually the equivalent of 22. 
because the pilot episode is feature length. It's like a, a movie, basically. And there we go. So five discs, and it looks like we have some artwork underneath. Yes, there we go. Very nice. So then if we, uh, let's see, we just put this in there like that. And we'll just take a little look at the booklet here. Yeah, so it's actually just a just a pamphlet, but uh, but very cool. And it talks a little bit about how when the show was brought back in repeats, um, it started getting compared to The Sopranos. And a lot of people who liked The Sopranos found that they liked this as well. This is also uh, kind of referred to as one of the best shows you've never seen. You can find articles online about that. And uh, it really is, you know, um, it, it really is just kind of one of those hidden gems that uh, sadly not a lot of people have heard of. But if you like some uh, dark and gritty police drama, this is definitely a good one to check out. And much like uh, The Sopranos many years later, this is very much a continuing story as well. It's quite, uh, quite an epic saga of crime and the men trying to bust the criminals and take them down. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, this is also kind of shiny. So it's very, very nice. And there we go. And also, much like uh, Miami Vice several years earlier, uh, this has a very cinematic vibe to it, uh, thanks to the keen eye of Michael Mann. Uh, it's just a very, very good-looking show. It's absolutely beautiful. So this one opens up in much the same way, like a book. And then again, we have some of the discs' contents listed there, some photos, and then we have the rest of the contents there. So this one is four discs. It's the same number of episodes, but there's they're, they're just single episodes. There's no feature-length ones. Got our rebate uh, coupon again. And uh, just quickly show you the discs here so you can see the quotes. Yeah, so if you like gritty crime drama like I do, you definitely owe it, your, owe it to yourself to check this show out. It, uh, it's just fantastic. Very bingeable. <laughs> and uh, it's only two, basically 22 episode seasons, so 44 episodes total if you include the pilot as two. So uh, you can you can blow through it all pretty quick, and uh, the first page is stuck in the box. Think, can we can can you come out, please? Oh, that's just great. <laughs> that's great. Okay, there. Okay, I just had to close it fully. All right. So if we uh, if we do this, and we'll take a look at the the booklet here. Very nice. There's quite a lot of like trivia tidbits in here too, all kinds of stuff about the the making of the show and the critical response and uh, and whatnot. Definitely some interesting reading to accompany the show. There we go. Close it back up, and let's just get both of them side by side there, shall we? There we go. And actually, if you want to know how it look, how it'll look on your shelf, there you go. Actually, looks quite nice. And there you go, Crime Story, the best gritty crime drama you've never seen, but you really should because it's really, really good. And there you go. So if you like your crime drama on an epic scale. Beautifully cinematic, dark and gritty, with some pretty snappy dialogue and a wonderful cast. Dennis Farina, by the way, is fantastic in this. I remember him appearing in some Miami Vice episodes. And he's just always been one of those actors that just immediately commands your attention. And, uh, and it was great to see him actually in a starring role like this. So anyway, if you like all that stuff, and you like Dennis Farina like I do, uh, check out Crime Story. 
Um, as always, I will include some Amazon links in the description down below. At the very least, I'll include Amazon links to the more recent release. It's probably a little easier to get. If I do find these ones, I'll throw those in there as well if you want to grab this specific uh, edition for your collection. As always, big thank you to those of you who use my Amazon links. I do get a little kickback for that, which does help uh, go towards the show quite directly. It uh, allows me to purchase more stuff that I can do videos about for you. So thank you very much to those of you who use those links. I really appreciate the support. Alrighty, well, that is it for me to you for now. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Until then, big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day, and I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara.